joined, as ever, by the magnificent Beer Wonder. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, why is that off? I don't, I don't know. You keep saying it to me. I've got no idea what you're fucking it's off. It's off I can't remember what Anyway, never mind. Um, I can't remember where we are. What got are we doing today? Come away from all the Tesco stuff now. I'm bored now. Where's so we went over to um, oh. um, Home Bargains and found, them. And, found a f and b and M Bargains and found a few little treats. Yeah. Well, could be treats, they could be fucking horrible for all we know. Good price. Yeah, well you picked up um, the next review that's going to come out will be another one of Wanda Cider reviews. Mm. Um, but she's managed to pick up the brothers Tutti Frutti, Tutti Frutti. Um, from B&M Bargain, so she's nice very Tutti. excited about that. Um, How much was it? One pound something? One pound fifteen, wasn't it? That's well cheap, isn't it? One pound fifteen for a three thir or one fifty? Can't remember. I think it was one fifteen. Yeah, it was good anyway. Yeah, and you picked up. I mean, you picked up some bombers as well, didn't you? For like ridiculous. Forty nine p. Forty nine p. Or fifty nine p. So yeah, bits and bits and pieces coming. Um, so we've, we've, we've gone to the cheap range okay. um, of stuff to see where we're at. Now this one, this one, is from the ever popular Green King. Oh dear. Um, from Berry St Edmunds Wonder, and it's there. I'm not that. Um, Icebreaker Pale Ale. Unfiltered. Okay. Unfiltered. Yeah, an unfiltered Pale Ale. Now. I've done a little bit of research into it, only, only a tiny bit, yeah. um, because I was interested in this bit at the top, Apprentice Brewers. Oh, okay. I said it here, I don't know if you can see that, because I can't so, see obviously I can't see the camera. Um, so, so, so what they've done, and if you read on the back, it says uh, Green King has opened its doors to new industry talent. Under the tutelage of Ross, the world's youngest master brewer, our apprentices were given the freedom to break the boundaries of brewing at Green King. Creating the easy drinking, um, uh, this easy drinking, unfiltered pale ale, bursting with fruity, hoppy flavour. Now, obviously, Green King produce some. Let's be polite. Middle of the road beers. They get they get an absolute hammering from from beer of the beer groups and um, Facebook and YouTube and all that, um, and rightly so. I think they've lost a lot of the plot on a lot of their stuff. But people must be buying it for them to keep going. Absolutely, it's still one of the big pub chains. It's still one of the big pub chains and breweries price this as well. in Britain. Absolutely, and price. I mean, so, I picked I pick these up. They're um, I did see the date. I'm fucked if I can't remember where I saw it. I think it was August. Yeah, it? I think they're over August or September. They're out so of date. A few months, haven't you? Yeah, and they were four for four. I think they were four for four pence. So a pound a bottle. Yeah, can't go wrong, even if it doesn't taste. Nice sunny Brilliant, day. Nice sunny day, and it's I think it's four four and a half percent. So three thirty mil, four and a half percent. I'm interested. I think I've had this, um, but with a different label on tap. Oh, okay. Um, or I tried to have it when we were in London. I think it was the one that they kept. Um, it was uh, every time I went to have a um, a, um, a pint of it, it'd run out. Right. So I don't think I ever got a a pint of it because right. uh, I was interested to see what it was like. So I'm interested. And at a pound, can't really mind really. I ain't going to be too. I ain't going to be too harsh on it at no. a quid. I don't know what it is, what it sells, what the selling price is normally. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. That didn't go well. I think home bargains and B and M might be our new favourite place. Well, that's not that. They, stock, they, they, they stock. Uh, what they do is they buy up from the supermarkets a lot of their shorter dated stuff, which is why they can their stuff is so cheap. Mm -hmm. is that um, glass or plastic? Yeah, it's glass. Right. Because you were a bit perplexed by the bombers that was yeah, in a, really in a plastic bottle. Yeah. And cute, yeah. So in the glass, it's, it looks like. there is, there's a little bit of haze to it. It's not a massive amount. So, um, it, it's like apple juice. Yeah, it looks like orangey. It looks like apple juice though. One says it looks like apple juice. It does. Um, it looks like um, a cider. To say it's unfiltered. Mm. Okay, I, it, it, there's a, a, a slight, cloudiness a slight to cloudiness to it, but nothing that I would call Maybe massive. Maybe that's where it's sat in the bottle. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a, enough date on it. So have a, have a, have a whiff on it, Wanda. It's so, quite refreshing, to be fair. Was it pale ale? So my, in, my natural instinct is to compare it to Sierra Nevada pale ale. It actually smells nice. Okay. Light. Right. Fruity. 
Yep. It's not overpowering. So, so, so it's not pale ale. I'm expecting, I'm expecting it to be a bit some citrus stuff in there. It's um, like it's got citrus you know. in it. Well, let's have a look. Fruity hop aroma, which is right. It smells it does um, have a fruity hop aroma. It's not bursting Easy it. drinking. It's not bursting out. It's probably something I would drink, to be fair. It's like probably my level more than your level. A bit of orange. Nice citrus notes, a little bit, little bit of tropical note in there as well. And it, there's a nice, there's a nice, nice, it smells quite sweet from the malt as well. It actually smells quite pleasant. All right, I ain't gonna knock that. Okay. Am I going <coughs> you go first, Wanda. Mm. There's no bitterness in that, right? Okay. I don't know whether you'll like it. It's quite um, thin. A light beer. But I, I know that. So. I, I'm expecting it to be at four and a half percent. I'm and, and being a pale ale. I'm not expecting it to have a massive body to it. It's quite refreshing. Okay. And it's probably more of my level than yours. Okay. Fair enough. And it's it a, doesn't taste disgusting. It's quite a nice, it's quite a nice thin. pleasant day today. So yeah, it's a pleasant light drink for a hot day. Look, let's, let's let's be honest here. Green King and never unless they sack everybody in their brewery yeah. and employ some of the, the guys from Cloudwater and Daya and all that, they're never going to produce a well-beaten beer, right. okay? Um, I'm not expecting it to be well-beaten. Is it worth a pound of my money? Yeah, right. I okay. think it is worth a pound. It actually tastes better than a pound, really. I think it's worth a bit more, to be fair. There's a little bit of bitterness on the front, and that dies tiny off. Tiny bit. It's very tiny. It's very, it's, it's, quite light as I'd expect it to be. It's quite a pleasant light beer isn't it? I don't mind it. I wouldn't personally get it because I would like my other stuff yeah. but if it was the last drink or if there wasn't much then I would have it. I reckon that get, tastes nice with lemonade in it as well for me. Nice bit of grapefruit. Mm. Um, yeah I get the citrus notes through that. A little tiny bitterness in there as Wanda said it's not a lot. Um, body's very thin, but at that price fruity. point, it is fruity. There's a nice tropical Not note. Not overpowering fruit, though. No, it's no, nice quite nice. Yeah, nice tropical um, flavours through there as well. It's not bad. Not bad for a pound, is it? I'll tell you what, I mean, I've thrown out... Um, I've thrown out a Green King beer. I thought IPA. you had more expensive stuff than that, and it tastes better. Yeah, than it's, that. Um, it tastes better than the expensive stuff. It's all right. It's got, it's got. A, there's a little bit of pine there as well on on the on the back end. that's clinging to the to clinging to the palate. It's all right. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lob that out of the shed at a pound. I think that's all right. Um, it's, it's well, nice, well actually. worth looking at. It's a nice, um, it's got a nice dryness to it that makes you want to go back it's, it reminds for another me one. of Brewed Trump IPA, okay. but a lighter version of it, not as strong. If there's not citra in that, then I'm a devil's, um, I'm a monkey's uncle because um, I'm picking the citra out of that. Um, it's really, it, it's okay. It's, um, say it might be on the box. It's, um, it's not going to um, pull up any... Um, but would you buy it again? At that price, drink, at that price, money, that's a, a cheap fridge filler. Yeah, four drinks for £4. Pounds. As a fridge filler for, um, in the sunshine. Yeah. I'm all right with it. That's if all people right. People don't like their strong stuff. That's perfect. It's all right. And sometimes you, we can get over, um, over exuberant on these beers that we have in here that some of them are five six pound a tin a pound i ain't gonna diss that if you can go over to um home bargains i think they're available in tesco's as well uh have a check on it it's all right it's not too bad um so for me from wanda thumbs, thumbs up. up for me it's a thumbs up um every day of the week nice nice and refreshing um find us on it um like don't like shit uh comment down below if you've had it um well, you're fun. <laughs> well, oh, fun wonder. I'll do it for you, don't <laughs> um, yeah, Comment down below if you've had it. Um, if you don't like it, if you've thrown it over your missus or whatever, because it's crap. Oh, um, nice, or she's thrown it over you. Yeah. Um, uh, find us on Instagram, Wonder Be a Wonder. Facebook, Wonder Be a Wonder. Um, Craft Beer UK on Facebook. Um, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you for Wonder Cider Review. Oh.